So if you're like me, chances are you're using lots of text in your videos. I mean, lots and lots. Probably more than you should have. And using text mogut is a really good way to speed up your workflow. In this video, I'll show you how to use these five mogut in Premiere Pro. From a simple text highlighter, which you could choose a word highlight, or something with a more elaborate speed control without keyframing, but it still follows your speed. All of the mogut's are free and are available on my Gumroad. This video is also timestamped, so you could jump to any part if you like. One more thing before I start, I would really appreciate it if you can click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Now let's begin. What I'll do now is to show you step by step how to use these five mogurts. To bring in the mogurts, what you have to do is to bring them into your essential graphics panel, just drag them in. Uh, if you don't have this open, you could go to window and then essential graphics. So the first one is called simple text highlighter. It's very simple. It's, uh, let me just bring it down. What it does is that you could choose a word to highlight in a sentence. You could choose a word in a paragraph to highlight. I mean, if it's a very long paragraph, I'll do some random words and then you can highlight whatever words they are. Just bear in mind that when you have punctuations like a comma or a period, if they're not separated by a space, they're usually recognized as part of a word. Next, you could change the highlight color. You could choose whatever color you like. And I want the base color, say you're against a brighter background, I want the base color to be dark. And you can do that as well. Just bring it back. And you could choose different fonts as well. So that's it. That's the first highlighter. So the second one is very similar to the first one, but it's got a built-in animation. It's called Highlighter with Speed Control. So let me just track it down and extend the background. So like the previous one, um, you've got all the options and this speed control. The way I've designed it is that the lower the speed, the quicker it moves. So if I make it 50, you can see this is very slow. However, if I make it day 15, it goes a lot quicker. Yeah, I know it's a bit weird this way because I forgot to minus 100 and absolute the whole thing, but it doesn't matter, it works now. Just remember, the lower the number, the quicker it goes. The other thing I didn't do was to make the highlighter stay on the last word, but there's a quick fix to it. So what you do, you go to the last word, cut it, just hold the last frame, now you could extend it um, and then it stays on the last word. Just like the previous highlighter, you can change the highlight color, the base color, font and size of the text. So the root, so the use case for this would be, say you have an interviewee and you just want to highlight the words as he or she speaks. And that's it. That's the second highlighter with a speed control. So the third one is called BG Highlighter background highlighter. It's very similar to the, let me just show you quickly. All of them were built on the previous version. So essentially what it does is the same, but apart from just highlighting the text and there's the background as well, which you could change the color and change the uh, pixelation to some extent. You can go ahead and play around with the parameters and see what's more suitable for you. But essentially that's it. The next one is called just one word. It basically reads the paragraph and then the output is just one word at a time. So sometimes we see people use this text effect, which when they talk, there's only one word showing at a time. And this mocha does exactly that. So you type in your paragraph here and it outputs only one word and you could change the, the output font and then bring it up. Now again, it's got less speed control. The slower, the same as before, the slower it is the quicker it moves. So if you want it to go really fast, you give it a lower number. If they speak slowly, you bring that number up. And you may ask why this is here. I mean, this is just to show you, you've got some text here. You could toggle this on and off by just ticking this box. I've included the position and scale properties here, so you could easily change those here. That's it, that's the fourth Mogut, I think. So moving on, we are on the last Mogut. This is actually a very unoriginal one because I simply took this effect from one of the After Effects presets. It's basically the fade up effect, but I've added some more some, some more parameters and some more controls. So the difference with this one is the smaller the number, the slower the text shows. So if I just give it a 10, 
it goes quite slowly. However, if I give it a 50, it goes really quick. And just like the others, you could choose the word to highlight. It's basically a mask, uh, an invisible rectangle behind that text. And you could choose to turn it on or off. By changing the position and scale, you can choose where to highlight. So that's it about this video. I hope these five more goods are useful for you. I release free more goods and assets for editing in the future. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you.